when we get back around, you will be. That's what I was trying to figure out. How do I get her always on the camera side? Well, we can't. Now you're back. What See? did I tell you about the world I want to change? It zigzags. <laughs> I zigged and it zagged. And we didn't get it. That, that, that is so good. Yeah, I mean, this guy is paying one 30 seconds extra just to do this. And then what? He says, hey, do I get paid for this? He says, yeah, I got paid for this. <laughs> what does oh, this company God. do? We're a service company. We specialize in helping organizations become more effective. Can you give me a specific example? Our customers are typically organizations who want to focus their attention on delivering their products and services. And they come to us to enhance their ability to do this by having us take over the operation of parts of their infrastructure. Joint Stars is a multi-million dollar project Jim and I is involved Good. with. You're the person who can explain this to me, right? Yes, I'll try. It's a very complicated engineering job. And so the team of uh, Gemini and MITRE, the systems engineer, and the Electronic Systems Center is just a wonderful combination to get the engineering job done. But it goes back to this pilot. What are you doing for this pilot? Making his or her job easier. And we're looking into the future. As Gary was talking about, the reason you create a simulation is so that the ultimate user of the system can see how it's going to operate when it's been fielded. You develop these simulations so that you make sure that you haven't gone off and spent a lot of money building a system that the user is going to say, I don't like what this display looks like or it doesn't have the functionality that I need. The neat thing is that we are seeing at our national laboratories the opportunity, along with some other things, if you integrate them right, to take it to the next level because there's an opportunity to race across the visual data because they're beginning to self-structure it today. They went immediately to the boss and we'll see what comes out of it. And they took three days prior to the event as well as days after the event and they're racing across it with Roadrunner right now in a fresh start based on our work with them and then they're applying it to that effort and they're gonna probably have an opportunity to say, wait a minute, were there, was there a greater network looking at these folks? Because frankly, a lot of times when you radicalize somebody, there's another effort watching over their shoulder to make sure they're gonna commit their act. Or whether or not they're gonna, they're squeal. And when you are going against these threat networks, if you're not doing that as your first step, you're not doing the chore, correct? We'll always be able to give a customer, whether it's a technology solution, whether it's a procedural solution, or whether it's a people solution. We will never be able to do anything more than to show to them why our alternative or one of a number of alternatives will be to their advantage. You will never force them to do anything one way or the other. And that's how we approach our projects. We remember the customer and the customer's organization. It's a diamond, OK? And our job is to polish that diamond, not reshape it. It's theirs. They're proud of it. They create it. We're just trying to enhance it and let it be the best that it is.